Okay, there we go, guys. I figured I'd let the trailer be a nice little intro to the start of this. Um, welcome back. Sorry it took me so long to figure out what game to record and upload for you guys. Um, I figured I'd do Assassin's Creed. Um, I'm doing it on my, uh, side profile for you guys so that we get to see, um, how, how it handles and stuff like that. I'm not going to do it on my main. Um, this is what I always do for you guys. That way you guys can see the achievements that pop up and stuff like that. I figured a lot of you are starting from the beginning, so this way you guys can see it from the beginning to watch it or start from the beginning. So, uh, here we go, guys. Let's start it. as well. 
genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, Use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Now use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Okay. Proceed Sounds to easy. the marker to continue the synchronization process. Sounds easy. The Animus differentiates between two fundamental actions, low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. Okay. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high-profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. There go. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. Okay. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Okay, got that. Well done. The Animus will also provide other important information. 
The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. Okay. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Okay. Now, select your hidden blade. Okay. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him okay. by using your armed hand button. Presented by the red witness indicator. Okay. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Okay. Uh, Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Yes, I can. You're slow. You're nope. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. It's Wait blue. until your social status changes again. It's blue right now. Battle with it. All better things. Well done. The soldier That's has lost green. your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Yay. Excellent. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, yeah. and then use a hide spot to vanish. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Let us continue with the demonstration of blend. Blend can be activated with the passive yeah. use of your leg. <clears throat> Just you a. can mimic a skull oh, and a. pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Y button. I'm doing on the Xbox. Well done. There we go. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Yeah, got the achievement right there. Wait! There must be another way. 
This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us, Phil. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Lots of arrogance here. Okay guys, I think this is where I'm going to end the video right here. And I can continue uh, right here um, from this very spot. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time for some more Assassin's Creed, the original. So thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.